if we have ax squared plus bx plus c, a, b, and c do not share any common factor, no GCF. Now, ax squared plus bx plus c, if factorable, will uh, will give you a product of two binomials dx plus e times fx plus g we're following the order of the alphabet now when we foil those two binomials we will get d f x squared plus d g x plus e f x plus e g now we're going to combine the middle terms since they share x as a common factor so we're going to keep the fx squared plus factoring x we're gonna have dg plus ef multiply by x plus eg then we must realize that this is what ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to let's compare the terms a will be the coefficient of x squared so a will be equal to df c the constant term c is equal to eg the product of e by g and b the coefficient of the middle term the coefficient of x will be equal to the sum of dg plus e f those factors are the same as the factors of AC. Notice when you multiply A by C, you get D, F, E, G. Well, that's it. What does that mean? It means that the factors of AC will allow our students to split B into a sum of two linear terms. And that's what we want to be able to factor our trinomial. An example, if we have 2x squared minus 7x minus 15 to factor, AC will be equal to 2 times negative 15. So AC will be equal to 
negative 30. Now, negative 30 sh should uh, give us the factors that we want. And, well, neg the product is negative 30. Therefore, we're going to try 3 and 10. And uh, play with the sign in order to get a sum of negative 7. 3 times negative 10, negative 30. 3 plus negative 10, 3 plus negative 10, negative 7. So, what does that mean? It means that B can be written as the sum of two linear terms, and those two terms are 3x and negative 10x. We keep 2x squared, we keep negative 15, and negative 7x will be written as plus 3x minus 10x. Now we're going to do factoring by grouping. The greatest common factor here between 2x squared and 3x is x, and we have x times 2x plus 3. The greatest common factor between negative 10x and negative 15 is negative 5. Minus 5 times 2x plus 3. Now, the greatest common binomial is 2x plus 3. Therefore, the final answer will be 2x plus 3 times x minus 5. And we're done.